You ready? Okay. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of God and in the face of this company of witnesses to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted by God. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God in his creation. And our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at a wedding of Cana in Cana of Galilee. Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. It signifies to us the, myster the mystery of the union between Christ and his church. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy and for the help and comfort given to one another in abundance and adversity. And when it is God's will for the procreation of descendants and their nurture in the knowledge of love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but deliberately, reverently, and in accordance with the purpose of which it was instituted by God. The Lord's book tells us, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if, you, if any of you has grievance against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body, you were called to peace and be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach each other all the wisdom through palms, psalms, hymns, and songs of the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Wives, submit yourself to your husbands as fitting in the Lord. And husbands, treat your wives and love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Andrew, do you, will you have this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Keep yourself unto her for as long as you both shall live. I will. Okay, and Daphne? Will you have this man to be your lawfully wedded husband, to, give, to live together in God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep only unto him for as long as you both shall live? I will. Okay. Do you have the rings? Yes. The marriage ring seals the vows of marriage and represents a promise for eternal and everlasting love. Andrew, please slide your ring onto Daphne's finger and repeat after me. I, Andrew, take thee, Daphne, to be my wedded wife. I, Andrew, take thee, Daphne, to be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I give thee my pledge. And thereto I give thee my pledge. Daphne, you may now present your ring to Andrew and repeat these same promises. I, Daphne. I, Daphne. Take thee, Andrew. Take thee, Andrew. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For, better or for, worse. for richer or poorer. For richer or richer. <laughs> for <poor. laughs> in sickness and in health. <laughs> to love and to cherish forever. To love and to cherish forever. 
according to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I give thee my pledge. And thereto I give thee my pledge. Okay. And I'll go over to the singer. See if this will stay on, but you can use that to kind of pour it in. Okay. okay. Andrew and Daphne. Today you are making a promise of your love and your eternal commitment for one another. As you each hold your separate vessels of sand, the sand represents your lives up until this moment, individual and unique. You may now combine your sands together as your lives also join together as one. She got the top. <laughs> shelter for the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be the warmth to the other. Now you are two persons, but there is only one life before you. May beauty surround you both in the journey together ahead through all the years to come. May happiness be your companion and your days together be good and long upon this earth. Treat yourselves and each other with respect and remind yourself often of what brought you together today. Give the highest priority to tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your connection deserves. When frustration, difficulties, and, and fear assail in your relationship as they threaten all relationships at one point or another, remember to focus on what is still right between you, not only the part that seems wrong. In this way, you can focus on what you can ride out the storms when clouds hide the face of sun in your lives, remembering that even if you lose sight of it for a moment, the sun is still there. And if each of you takes responsibility for the quality of your lives together, it will be marked by abundance and delight. The two of you are now joined in one unbroken circle. Wherever you go, may you always return to one another and to your togetherness. May you two find in each other of the love for which all men and women long. 
May you grow in understanding and in compassion. May the home that you establish be such a place of sanctuary that all who visit will find a friend. And may the Lord bless you and keep you forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. Those whom God has, put, has joined together, let no man put asunder. For as much as Andrew and Daphne have consented to, together today in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God and this company of witnesses, and there too having given their pledge to each other, have declared the same by giving and receiving of rings and the joining of hands. By the power vested in me by the state of Florida, I now pronounce you to be husband and wife and co-captains in life. Congratulations, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Long.
wake up.